first job at the NT. I was first commissioned to write a play called Black Poppies and then uh, tried to devise a play with Simon McBurney, a genius from Complicity, and none of them happened. <laughs> and then I was offered Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Cutler, which was received incredibly well and will always stay with me as one of my most deepest and heartening experiences on the stage. I then went on to um, get a commission with Roy Williams to write Death of England. And uh, we put that on last year, 2020, uh, just before the pandemic. And then in the pandemic, we put on Death of England Delroy, which opened and closed on the same day. There you go, my potted life at the NT. My favourite show at the NT, you'll never get it. Not in public, not out of me. No, I'm not gonna say. The politician in me speaks. I will not be drawn. <laughs> my favourite part of working in the NT is the people. I think the people always make a building. I think there's an illusion that the building somehow has its own identity. It's the people that make the building. What would I like to see more of at the NT? I'd like to see a deeper, more engaged relationship with the working classes of Britain at the NT. Acting has taught me commitment. You have to commit. If you want to achieve anything, you have to commit. If you want people to believe, you have to commit. Directing has taught me that every great piece of work is actually about a great piece of collaboration. Theatre should always entertain and theatre should always challenge. Three reasons for staging a play. For me, it's the why now, the aim of the play and how entertaining is it? How can theatre come back stronger? Theatre can come back stronger by really understanding the freelance experience and perspective and embracing the needs of freelancers within the operation of theatre. My proudest theatre moment, I think I've got to stay in the present, haven't I? Being the Deputy Artistic Director of the National Theatre. Thanks for spending some time with me and thanks for your continued support of the National Theatre. I'm going to do my bit to help recover the National Theatre to its past glories and um, I hope you follow me and us in that journey to try and inspire young people to enjoy the best of British theatre, to try and bring our communities back together after such a torrid time and to try and revive the spirit of our communities in telling great stories and making sure that they understand that theatre is for everyone.